Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the second video in the series where we're looking at five hard questions part three. Please do stop the video and have a go at each of the questions or alternately you can visit 3 Minute Maths, download the worksheet and work through before you compare your solutions. In the previous video we completed question one. In this video we're going to start from question two. OK, so here we are on question two. It looks a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad because effectively we need to remember that to work out the area of a triangle, which is actually going to be this area in here, that's going to be equal to either a half base times height or a half AB sine C. And you'll find this quite a bit with these sorts of questions that you can just use this particular formula, which is actually in your formula work. Sheet. So therefore I've got a value of a half and that's going to be multiplied, I'm just going to use a dot for multiply, multiplied by 5 which is A and then 5 which is B and then the sine of 60 degrees is actually going to be equal to root 3 over 2. Okay, looks a little bit challenging but it actually works out as 25 root 3 over 4. OK, so that's the area of the particular triangle. Let's have a look now at the area of the sector and then what we're going to do is take one away from the other. So the area of the sector is going to be 60 degrees, effectively 60 degrees out of 360 multiplied by pi r squared. Well, we've got the radius as 5, so that's multiplied by 5 squared. And when I work that all out, put it in a calculator, however you do it, I'm going to get this as equal to 25 pi over six. Okay, so we've got two things now. We've got the area of the sector and we've got the area of the triangle and then really the area of the shaded is when we take one away from the other. So I'm just going to move up the screen there. So area of shaded is going to be equal to the area of the sector, which is this one here. Uh, take away the area of the triangle, which is this one here. OK, so I'm going to get 25 pi over 6 minus 25 root 3 over 4. Now, it looks a little bit tricky, but effectively we can just treat it as normal fractions. So we can actually say that both are going to have a common denominator of 12. So therefore, that's going to be 50 pi over 12, because I multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2, minus 75 root 3 over 12 because I multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3 and therefore as a complete uh, fraction I can write that as 50 pi minus 75 root 3 all over 12 and that's the answer to this particular question. Okay, I hope it's been helpful to you. Um, I'll scroll back so you can have a look at, look at that and then the answer itself is going to be equal to 50 minus uh, 50 pi minus 75 root 3 all over 12 and that would be the answer to this particular question okay so i hope the video was useful please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything i'll always come back to you subscribe to the channel i'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video